Hello and welcome to Nottingham Free School's first ever virtual Year 6 Open Evening. My name is Mark Watts and I'm the Head of School here at Nottingham Free School. And during the course of this presentation you're going to hear from a range of staff. After me will come Miss Wilson who is our Head of Year 7. And then you're going to hear from a range of our Heads of Department who are going to talk about their subject areas and the curriculum that they have on offer. And so you can learn about the learning opportunities that we offer here at Nottingham Free School. And then finally, at the end, Miss Wilson will give you a little bit more information about the application process for uh, applying for a, a secondary school place in Nottingham City. So I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about our school. So if you don't know already, Nottingham Free School was established by the Nova Education Trust back in 2014. So that was the first year that we opened our doors to students. And we, so we've now been in operation for seven years. Uh, the school was established to serve the students uh, in and around the Sherwood area of Nottingham City because at the time uh, primary school students were having to go off in all directions to find a place at secondary school. And those students that started with us in 2014 have now reached year 13. So we now have students in each of the year groups and our very first cohort are now preparing to sit their A-levels in the summer of 2021. From the school's very first day, its motto has been work hard, be kind, and that's still the case today. As I will explain to my students, regardless of how talented you are in maths or art or Spanish or any other subject, those values are the most important things to us here at the Free School. We want all of our students to grow up into hard-working, kind people. And so all of our school expectations are built upon those values and work towards that goal. And you can find a more detailed description of our vision and values on our school website. One of the characteristics about Nottingham Free School that people notice first is its size. We are a relatively small secondary school with a four form entry for up to 120 students each year. Uh, but that's small, that small size allows us to create uh, what we like to think of as quite a family feel. And so we pride ourselves on how well we know each of the students in our school. But we are an ambitious family. Uh, we want our students to have the very best life choices and chances. And so our curriculum focuses on what many people describe as an academic pathway from GCSEs at Key Stage 4 to A-levels at Key Stage 5. We expect most of our students to follow an English Baccalaureate curriculum through Key Stage 4, which along with English, Maths and Science means that they study a humanities subject and a modern foreign language. And most of our A-level students are taking those uh, courses as a stepping stone towards university or a degree level apprenticeship. In order to ensure that our students can tackle that ambitious curriculum, Right from the start of Year 7, we retain a high focus on reading and we expect students to have a book with them every day to read and we expect them to do some reading at home as well. On top of the academic curriculum that we offer through the day, we also have uh, a wide programme of enrichment activities ranging from sports teams to school productions, from public speaking to environmental groups, from animal care to chess. Our enrichment programme is unfortunately currently on hold. Uh, but we are hopeful that by next September schools will be in a position to relaunch that type of activity. And all students are expected to participate in at least one enrichment activity every term and also to attend some supervised study sessions uh, where we uh, help them to develop the capacity to learn and study independently so that by the time they get to those public examinations at the end of year 11 then they're truly ready to take them. So hopefully that has given you uh, a first insight into what we offer here at Nottingham Free School. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Miss Wilson, who, as well as saying her hellos, will also show you around our building. Thank you. Hello there, welcome to the Year 6 virtual opening then. My name is Miss Wilson and I am the head of Year 7, currently at Nottingham Free School. This virtual open evening will follow the following structure. You've already seen Mr Watts' video um, as an introduction to this open evening. You will also have a short tour of the school building that I will be showing you in just a second. Uh, we'll also be having the heads of departments introduce their department and give you a lot more information about each subject that we study at Nottingham Free School. We've also got a short section um, delivered by the sixth form students who are answering some frequently asked questions as well. And then at the end, I will have a little bit of key information regarding applications. So I hope you enjoyed the virtual open evening and I will now show you a tour of the school. Hello Year 6, my name is Ruth Wilson and I am the Head of Year 7 here at Nottingham Free School. 
This section of the virtual open evening is your school tour. So on this tour, I will be showing you around some of the corridors in the building. I'll show you some of the classrooms and I'll also take you outside and show you the playground that you'll be using uh, during break times and lunch times and also during your PE lessons. Our building is a fairly straightforward building to get yourself around. Um, we've got lots of classrooms inside it. We have our library. We have lots of uh, different areas, including the main hall and, and the dining hall for you to look at. Um, but there is a lot to kind of get to know and lots to look around the school. So let's get started. That completes the virtual tour of Nottingham Free School. I hope you enjoyed that. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you all the classrooms, but I managed to show you a few, so I hope you get a feel of kind of what the school looks like inside. Um, I'm now going to hand over to the heads of department who are going to talk each about their own subject and what to expect when you uh, join us here at Nottingham Free School in Year 7. I hope you enjoy. Hi, Year 6. In English at Nottingham Free School, we want you to be able to use language confidently. We want you to be able to read a variety of different texts and enjoy reading them. We want you to be able to write for many different purposes and with accuracy. We teach through our themed units in Year 7. So there's one per term, so there's three throughout the whole of the year, and they're on the screen, Discovery, Survival and Truth. Within each of those themed units, you'll study and read a main text and the details of those are on the screen. But you'll also look at a variety of different extracts, for example, poetry, different pieces of fiction, non-fiction, and you'll write for many different purposes. So you'll write stories, some description, you'll write speeches, and you will essentially use language to learn about the world, about our history, and about the diversity in our society. And do have a read of our ambition and our core values, which are there on the screen too. And we look forward to seeing you at Nottingham Free School. Hello Year 6, this is Miss Carter. I'm one of the maths teachers at Nottingham Free School. Uh, within maths we have quite a few teachers. So we have Mrs Barney, Mr Downer, Mr Lander, Mr Baines and Dr Watson. Um, when you join us in Year 7, you will have five lessons of maths per week. 
and every single year you are going to study uh, different topics under uh, the certain strands of maths which are number, algebra, ratio and proportion, geometry and measure and statistics and probability. Now you'll have met to um, topics under those branches already so you'll be familiar with some but what we will do is we'll extend your knowledge further and then introduce more topics from there um, each under the strands. Uh, we are very lucky at Nottingham Free School that we have Hegarty Maths um, in which to set your homework on where you will have a maths teacher explaining uh, the work to you and then some worked examples and then the questions for you to try which you can then do in a workbook um, so that you've got your working all there. Um, we are also very lucky that we can um, offer opportunities for students to take part in the UKMT challenge each year. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to science. My name is Mrs Machen and I'm going to give you a very brief summary of the science curriculum. So please feel free to contact the school if you have any additional questions. Students in year seven and eight will have five lessons of science each week, which will then increase to six lessons when they reach year nine. They will have two teachers who will deliver different topics from each of the sciences, biology, chemistry, and physics. We've developed our schemes of work using our national curriculum whilst also making links to GCSE to create ambitious content, allowing them to become successful when they reach GCSE level. These curriculums can be found on the school website if you would like to reference them. When they reach year 10, students will then complete a two year GCSE course in each of the individual sciences, biology, chemistry, and physics. And this is known as the triple award. So students will leave us at the end of their year 11 with three grades in science. Throughout the year, students will be set weekly homework, which supports the content that they've covered in lesson. They will also then be assessed through regular bookmarking and end of topic tests. In addition to that, pupils will sit a mock exam towards the end of year seven. Thank you for listening. I know it was extremely brief. So like I said, please feel free to contact the school if you've got any particular questions. And then over the next few slides, you will have the opportunity to watch a demonstration of the crushing can experiment. Thank you. So this is the demonstration of the collapsing can. We've just got a normal uh, physics can here, which is empty, there's nothing in it. Um, I'm going to get a small amount of water, just pour it into the can. Okay. We're then going to heat up this water and use that to uh, see what happens. So inside the can at the moment, there's just going to be air particles. And now there's uh, particles of liquid water at the bottom of the can. Right, so as I heat up that water, you know what's going to happen? It's going to evaporate and it's going to boil. So as the liquid water boils, the particles in the liquid become a gas. And the gas, the, the, uh, the gas water then pushes out the air particles in the can. We can see that's happening when we see the steam come out the top. What I'm going to do after that is turn the can over and put it into the water. So we can see now there's definitely steam coming out the top of the can. And that means that there's uh, water molecules, water particles, as gas in the can. And that should be pushing out the air particles. We'll see what happens when we turn it over. Right. So what happened was the water, the water particles actually condensed as it cooled down. So cooling it down makes the water go from a gas back to a liquid. And now there's nothing left inside the can. There's no, um, there's no gas inside the can. Um, what happens is the air pressure that we experience, that we feel, that pushes down on the can and the can isn't able to hold that pressure back. And that just completely crushes it. So the air pressure crushed the can. So that's the collapsing can demonstration. Hello there, welcome to Humanities. My name's Mrs. Ingalls and I'm the head of Humanities at Nottingham Free School. 
Um, one of the first things I'd like to tell you is what humanities means, because a lot of students ask me uh, when they come on the open evenings to school. So humanities is geography, history and religion, philosophy and ethics. And you can see the teachers' names uh, on the slide that teach the different subjects. Um, it's really popular at Nottingham Preschool and we have quite big groups for the options at GCSE and for A-level. And we feel that it's really important, all of the teachers at Nottingham Free School for Humanities really feel that our curriculum helps you have an active interest in the world around you, um, that it can really equip you to live in a diverse world, in a diverse community, um, and also really develop an em empathy for other people around you and have that um, care and compassion um, for the world and for people around you. In terms of the different subjects, um, you can see them below and there's an outline of what you would do. Um, in year seven at the moment um, and another question that I'm often asked um, on open evenings is about trips and um, unfortunately we can't run them at the moment because of um, COVID-19 but we do um, take advantage of the fact that we have some really lovely places of worship so we visit the synagogue um, in Sherwood, we visit the Gurdwara opposite school um, and we've also visited uh, St John's Church um, in Carrington um, and there's always, uh, for geography, the opportunity to go out and do field work. So normally in Year 7 we go out to Nottingham University for some field work, and then you would do further field work for GCSE uh, and for A-Level. So we'd um, hopefully be able to do those trips in the future. OK, thank you. Bye. Bienvenidos, welcome to the Modern Languages Department. We do Spanish here at Nottingham Free School because we think it's a great language and it's the third most spoken in the world. So each student in year seven and all the way through to year 11 has three 50 minute lessons per week and they get really good at Spanish because of the concentration on the one subject. We've offered a trip in the past in year nine and year 10 and we hope that that will continue again in the future. We really encourage lots of memorisation and we show them how to do that in lesson and they practice at home. If your child would like to have a go on some of the activities on the next slide, then do go ahead. Hello Year 6, my name is Miss Wilson and I am the music teacher at Nottingham Free School. Um, you will have music lessons once a week at Nottingham Free School and within that time we study a variety of different genres and we also spend some time doing some performing, composing and also doing some listening as well. At Nottingham Free School you have the opportunity to learn an instrument in Year 7 and 8 and that will either be the P-bone or guitar and you'll also have vocal lessons as well. We do have the opportunity for you to have some private instrumental lessons as well. These are an additional charge, but we have opportunities for you to learn the drums, guitar, singing, piano, and lots of other instruments as well. Everything we do in Key Stage 3 in Year 7, 8 and 9 will help with uh, GCSEs, which you will start in Year 10. And we have some uh, areas of study that we need to focus on in particular uh, when we get to that stage of our GCSEs. Music is a really nice subject for you to have the time to be able to study at Nottingham Free School, uh, so I hope that you do enjoy this subject. Hello, my name's Mrs Wilkin and I'm the Head of Art at the Nottingham Free School. In the Art Department, I'm also joined by uh, Mrs Williams. In Year 7, you learn lots of different techniques. You build your skills with a sketching pencil and learn how to do tone, especially in portraits. You look at lots of different portrait artists and you respond to them with different techniques like printing, watercolour, poster paint, and you'll learn how to mix colours, you'll use oil pastels, so lots of exciting things. Um, and then as you go through to year eight, you'll do things like silk painting and block printing. Um, so lots of really exciting techniques. Um, every year in a normal year, we would do a big art exhibition at the end of the year as part of Sherwood Arts Week, where all the year groups get to have a go at putting their work into the art exhibition. Um, so if you're a budding artist and that's something you'd like to have a go at, then um, obviously that would be a really good opportunity for you. Uh, we also do enrichment for art where you also get to try lots of different techniques that you wouldn't normally have in the class and all of those things prepare you for um, GCSE, art GCSE if it's something that you'd like to do 
um, and we also do our A level at the Nottingham Free School. And there is some amazing work. If you want to have a look at more, there is some on our website, so do have a look. Um, but in the meantime, we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Hello, I'm Mr Copback, one of the PE teachers here at Nottingham Free School. Along with Mr Mackay and Mrs Gray, we also have Ms Sings and Jones for our head of department. As you can see on the PowerPoint, we offer a broad range of individual and team sports in Year 7. However, do not worry if you can't find your favourite sport, as as you progress through each year, we start introducing you to new sports. Some sports that you look forward to, we've got basketball, outdoor adventure activities and rugby. I'm sure some of you compete in sports teams outside of school and would also like you to compete for the school teams. So far we've had some great success within rounders, cricket and we've also reached national finals with our dance team. We do have football teams that run through the winter and compete against other schools and we also have netball teams that do the same. Now, not all of our sport is about competition, some of it is about taking part. So we do offer an extensive enrichment programme that does things such as Aikido, boxing and table tennis. And anyone is able to join them and it is more for the fun and the participation rather than the competition. One of our key philosophies in the department is to make sure that we are promoting lifelong engagement in physical activity rather than all about winning. Now we do look forward to seeing you all in September and please remember, work hard and be kind. Hello guys, welcome to the Computer Science and ICT department uh, at the Nottingham Free School. My name is Mr Tackpole, I am the Head of Computer Science and ICT. So a brief overview then of what you can expect. So in terms of Key Stage 3, so Year 7, 8 and 9, students do get one lesson of IT slash Computer Science per week. Uh, within lesson we'll then spend time on developing creative IT skills and programming skills. Uh, the units are split up into kind of computer science and IT because that's the courses that we offer at Key Stage 4. So at Year 7, 8 and 9 they will cover different topics that cover the GCSE specification for both of the courses. Pupils will have an opportunity to learn a range of software from Photoshop Design which is more IT related to Python program which is more computer science related. We also have an enrichment group that covers the ECDL program, which is a course based on the basics of Microsoft Office. In terms of the department itself, we have specialist computing and IT staff. We have the latest Office and Adobe software suites. Uh, we can use iPads in lesson, but obviously for IT we use computers uh, that are available in the room. And we also have a range of hardware that we can also use. Like I mentioned, so we have different units that kind of cover both courses at Key Stage 4. So at Key Stage 3, Year 7, Year 8, we've got different units from Unit 1, E-Safety, uh, to Unit 5, working with BBC Microbits at Year 7. And then in Year 8, we look at the internet uh, and the networks. We then kind of move into programming with Python and HTML, and then finish off with graphic design. And like I said, all these skills that they learn will gear them up for what they would need and prepare them for key stage four. Thank you. Hi everyone and welcome to Design and Technology at Nottingham Free School. My name's Miss Reed and I'm the head of DT. Also in our wonderful department we have Miss Kikane who's a DT teacher and also the head of year 10. In year seven you can expect to get two lessons of DT a week and you can expect to cover in the whole of year seven all of the areas of DT that we offer because we work on a rotation system. So you may spend one term doing food technology, one term doing textiles technology and a further term covering the DT elements of graphics resistant materials and electronics. So in food technology, we will go through the Eat Well guide, looking at health and safety in the kitchen and healthy eating, and you will be making a range of nutritious meals. In textiles technology, you'll be making iPad covers to demonstrate block printing, use of the sewing machine and doing some hand sewing. And it, to demonstrate graphics, you'll be making some board games. Um, and to demonstrate resistant materials and electronics, we'll be working with smart materials and you'll be making your own acrylic jewellery. So for assessment and homework in the department, you'll be baseline tested when you join us in Year 7 just to see what level of DT you're coming in with because we're aware that some primary schools do quite a lot and others might not do as much. So we can help you the best we can to get a really good understanding of DT from the beginning. All students will be set homework from a knowledge organiser fortnightly um, and that is issued to all students. And there's assessment occurs in regular bookmarking, practical work and end of topic tests. 
So should you absolutely love DT at Key Stage 3, and why wouldn't you? Um, you can further your studies at Key Stage 4 with a range of GCSEs and awards on offer. So we've got GCSE, Food Preparation Nutrition, Design and Technology, Engineering Design and Hospitality and Catering. Hope to see you soon. Hello, this is Miss Wilson on behalf of Mrs Clark, our drama teacher. In drama, we study it once a week at Key Stage 3 and we also offer GCSE drama as well. There is some information on the screen regarding the schemes of work studied at Key Stage 3 and also the information regarding GCSE drama as well. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Grace. We go to the NFS 6th form. And we've both been at NFS since year 7 from 2014 when it first opened. One of the great things about NFS is how small it is. This makes it really easy to transition from primary to secondary, particularly in comparison to other schools which are a bit bigger. It also makes it really easy to make friends because you pretty much get to know your whole year group. Another good thing about it being so small is you get to know your teachers really well and so no matter if you're in lesson or out of lesson, you can always go to them to ask for help with your schoolwork or if it's a problem outside of school, they can always help. Even though it can be quite daunting moving from primary to secondary, there are lots of things to look forward to, like residentials or end of term parties, or even just making new friends. Another unique thing about the free school is that there's a lot of extracurricular activities. So we have drama clubs, sports clubs, music clubs, so there's a bit of everything for everyone. Mm -hmm. Even though this isn't exactly the welcome we'd like to give you and it'd be much nicer to meet you in person, we hope that this has answered a couple of questions about this school and hopefully in the next few months or in the next year we'll be able to meet you in person. But for now, thank you for listening and uh, bye. bye. So that brings me to the end of this virtual open evening. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you so much for listening. Please remember to submit your application for your child's school place by the 31st of October 2020. Please also to make sure to put down all four choices for your chosen schools or you could risk being left without a school place. If you have any further questions about anything you've seen on this virtual open evening or any questions about Nottingham Free School, then please email contact at nottinghamfreeschool.co.uk and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Again, thank you for your time today and thank you for listening to our open evening. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.